Murphy on Sunday, if you were watching the Tony Awards, when she received her sixth, her sixth Tony Award. This win makes her the most statute-laden Tony Award winner in our nation's history. Audra's most recent Tony Award, as many of you know, was for her incredible portrayal of Billie Holiday in Lady at Emerson's Bar and Grill. Audra, who grew up in Fresno, began her career with my friend Dan Pisano and the Good Company Players while attending Roosevelt High School. She then went on to graduate from Juilliard School of New York in 1993. Audra has seen great success on Broadway, television, and in the opera. In addition to having won three Tony Awards at the age of 28, Audra has also received numerous Grammy Awards, Drama Desk Awards, and Outer Critics Circle Awards. There's almost nothing that she hasn't performed in her field with the best. She also has uh, been able to display her talents at the White House and the greatest stages in the world. She's not only an exceptional actress, but also a wonderful giving person. She actively gives back to her community and seeks to improve the lives of those around her, including her family. Earlier this year, she held a benefit concert for Hands in the Community and is a supporter of marriage equality. She also sits on the advisory committee for the Broadway Impact. Most importantly, she's always given credit to where credit is due, beginning with her parents, respected educators in Fresno, who motivated and taught students as they taught Audra. Audra McDonald is a source of pride and inspiration in our San Joaquin Valley and in her hometown of Fresno, as well as around the world. And I think it's important that we take special note of the talented people throughout our country who provide joy and uh, the experience of the arts as uh, this very, very fine individual has done, a star in her own right, Audra McDonald, hometown, Fresno, California. I <clears throat> Give the balance of my time, Mr. Speaker. 